Development Goals, MDGs, which range from halving extreme poverty to halting the spread of HIV and AIDS and providing universal primary education, targeted by the year 2015, form a blueprint agreed by all the world's countries and the globe's leading development institutions. African governments have since embarked on a vigorous campaign to increase agricultural productivity in order to reduce poverty levels in the world. Unprecedented efforts have been galvanized to meet the needs of the world's poorest. Comesa, through her member states, also embarked on activities that promote good farming practices, especially that climate change continues poising serious threats to the farming communities run by women and men, especially in the rural areas. Uh, for agriculture, we talk about uh, uh, climate, uh, you know, proofing, climate resilient uh, agricultural practices. And this is where, for example, uh, conservation, you know, agriculture uh, comes uh, into play. In Malawi, the government is among its policy objectives, placing high priority on poverty alleviation. This is mainly due to the challenges the government has faced over time. Land degradation. We have the problem of deforestation in, in this country. Uh, most places like mountains or hill areas, the trees are no longer there. We have got the problem of energy uh, in, um, in the, in the rural, rural community and in the urban areas. And people have taken charcoal production as one of, of, of generating income for themselves. Play. Malawi has a total of 118,484 square kilometers. 20% of this area is covered by water. Of the 94,000 square kilometers of land, only about a third can be considered to be suitable for cultivation under the prevailing traditional management level that smallholder farmers are practicing. Deliberate efforts by the Ministry of Agriculture in Malawi to include women in all farming activities have been a milestone in this regard. We've got the agriculture extension policy that uh, has got a vision of ensuring that uh, all farmers access agriculture extension services and these farmers should be farmers of various gender groups. We have initiatives that lead a target to develop the rural women. We normally set uh, targets as to how many uh, women or farmers can be reached within that uh, initiative. We do coordinate with the Longwe headquarters. They are there actually to produce policies and of course strategies. And we are here to interpret the strategies and of course the policies to our farmers. To successfully implement these programs, the Agriculture Ministry has put in place structures that make it easy for the programs to be implemented at community level. Within the Department of Agriculture Extension Services, we've got a, a sub-program on gender and HIV. That particular sub-program is responsible for ensuring that uh, gender and HIV is being mainstreamed in the various programs and projects policies and budgets in the Ministry of Agriculture. It is also responsible for touching base with the various stakeholders as far as the, the two cross-cutting issues are concerned of gender and HIV. In Malawi, various climate smart agriculture programs are underway. These include land and resource management and conservation agriculture. Our focus is to ensure that the burden of women is reduced. We look at uh, conservation agriculture as one of the areas that can reduce the burden of the, of the women. Some organizations, such as the Total Land Care Incorporated, TLC, working in Malawi, Zambia and Mozambique, have recognized the benefits of these agricultural methods and coordinate projects that have conservation agriculture as a component. Although adoption may never be 100%, these organizations are realizing high adoption rates and farmer-to-farmer -farmer exchange. We realized that they were lacking uh, good, smart agriculture technologies that would improve their livelihood without depleting the natural resources. Now, when we came in, we found out that uh, the land that they were using, they were 
doing or practicing conventional agriculture, conventional tillage. Total Land Care has, among other provisions, aided some of these communities with support technologies, such as rocket stoves, that help in propagating the agroforestry project by this community. This community in Kota Kota has previously faced many challenges. We came in when we saw that they have got that interest of actually managing this forest. So we came in with the management plans where they are supposed to protect the forest by doing the fire breaks. They have got their own rules guiding them how they are supposed to look after it. The rocket stove as an intervention uh, came in just to lessen their problem. Malawi has embarked on an aggressive program to change the farming methods of her rural farmers, especially that most of the nation's land is bare. The ministry has introduced conservation tillage. It is a fusion of minimal tillage or reaping and the retention of crop residue. By retaining crop residue and planning for the next agricultural season, farmers realize several benefits in addition to what has already been previously detailed. This is called mulching. Yeah, some of uh, the time and labor saving technologies that we are promoting are the use of uh, herbicides. We also encourage our farmers to lay crop residues. Uh, that's, that's the other component of conservation agriculture. I was a little bit of 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 to perform other chores rather than spending a great deal of it on the fields. The use of herbicides, pot hauling and irrigation like this one here are some of the technologies being practiced in Malawi agriculture today. <laughs> The benefits of these farming practices are clear for all to see. This family in Salima has embraced conservation agriculture and now brag about the high yields they reap from a small piece of land. <laughs> This farmer has also chosen to use irrigation farming in preference to rain-fed agriculture. Good farming practices being employed here have helped maintain land fertility in this area especially that crop rotation is being practiced. The successful implementation of the National Land Resources Management Policy and Strategy will positively contribute to poverty alleviation. Its efforts in encouraging coordinated sustainable land utilization and management supported by cooperating partners is making headway in agriculture for Comesa member states. We have brought, of course, the challenge of, of, of the funds. If you look at the government resources, they are always uh, limited. And uh, we may have several good plans on paper, but without uh, the, 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 those uh, uh, funds, we may not implement uh, these activities on the ground. Programs of this nature can succeed if heavily supported. In this way, 
African countries can attain the 8 Millennium Development Goals or MDGs. Comesa with her member states stand ready as can be seen by the progress made in various member states. Wow.